Hey again, it's Matt Blackett, and I'm here to demonstrate some quick licks from the September issue of Guitar Player, and this one's called Keep It Fair, and if it sounds familiar, it kind of should. It's inspired by Paul Simon's great finger-picking part from the Simon and Garfunkel tune, uh, Scarborough Fair. And so what I like about this thing is it's got all these cool open strings in it. It's got this cool clangy minor second that's built into that first chord there. There's just a lot of good stuff going on. So I'm going to go ahead and go through it slowly so you can see what's happening with the finger picking pattern here. The picking pattern is exactly the same for these first two chords. I'm going to go like so. That's for the first chord that's I'm calling a D11 over A, but you could call it any number of things, I guess. But I'm going to use the exact same pattern when I go down to this A sus2 here. And then it's just a G chord. And then I go ahead and hammer onto that C there. And then basically you can just repeat the pattern. So now I explain in the lesson that if you want to make this thing sound kind of more harpsichordy, like the original one, a cool thing you can do is instead of just fretting this chord here, you can hammer it a 16th note after you hit these open strings. And so what that sounds like, instead of, it's more like, And that just lends kind of a cool sound to the whole thing. I really like that. So if you're thinking to yourself, it still doesn't sound exactly like uh, Scarborough Fair, you'd be right again, okay? The reason for that is we're playing this in the open position here. What Paul Simon did was capoed at the magical seventh fret. And so I'm gonna go ahead and slap a capo on the seventh fret, and let's hear what we've got going there. Okay, exact same pattern now. And then those harpsichordy hammer-ons. 